Alaska coast yesterday in a second incident. Canadian planes intercepted two Russian bombers that approached a Canadian airspace. Uh, NORAD says the, the Russian planes never entered U.S. or Canadian airspace. But how serious of an incident is this? Well, we, uh, we've faced these kinds of incidents before. We take them very, very seriously, uh, <clears throat> and we routinely intercept them. Uh, we'll make our, uh, our intentions known and, uh, to, to, uh, to, Russia, to, to Russia, as we always do, and we'll certainly uh, discuss our concerns with them at the appropriate time and in the appropriate venue. It is important that as we talk about these kinds of reconnaissance missions, that everybody has a clear, transparent sense of what we're doing uh, so that we can avoid any kind of mishaps in the air. Was there any connection, you think, uh, because there's some speculation uh, that uh, maybe this, these incidents uh, were connected to Russian anger over the uh, visit to the United States by the Ukrainian Alaska coast yesterday in a second incident. Canadian planes intercepted two Russian bombers that approached a Canadian airspace. Uh, NORAD says the, the Russian planes never entered U.S. or Canadian airspace. But how serious of an incident is this? Well, we, uh, we've faced these kinds of incidents before. We take them very, very seriously, uh, <clears throat> and we routinely intercept them. Uh, we'll make our, uh, our intentions known and, uh, to, to, uh, to, Russia, to, to Russia, as we always do, and we'll certainly uh, discuss our concerns with them at the appropriate time and in the appropriate venue. It is important that as we talk about these kinds of reconnaissance missions, that everybody has a clear, transparent sense of what we're doing uh, so that we can avoid any kind of mishaps in the air. Was there any connection, you think, uh, because there's some speculation uh, that uh, maybe this, these incidents uh, were connected to Russian anger over the uh, visit to the United States by the Ukraine.